The Obama's first state dinner was a glamorous celebratory affair until the Salahis showed up. The now infamous party crashing couple managed to get past White House security last year and shake hands with the president despite not having an invitation. On Wednesday, the Obama White House gets a chance to redeem itself when the president and first lady host their second state dinner for Mexican President Felipe Calderon and his wife. Anita McBride, the former chief of staff to Laura Bush, says the solution to keeping unwanted guests out of the White House this time around is simple. They can have the right people at the gates. That's all it takes. The White House appears to agree. After reviewing its procedures following last year's dinner, the White House decided to station a staff member at security checkpoints at all social events to resolve discrepancies about the guest list. McBride says that will help not only with security, but also with social protocol. It's the first welcoming uh, sign, the welcoming hand that a visitor gets is welcome to the White House, and that comes from the social office. That office also has a new boss at the helm, Juliana Smoot, who took over after Desiree Rogers left the job following criticism of her handling of the Salahi incident. While the White House has been careful not to divulge too many details about new security procedures for Wednesday night, the administration does say Smoot's staff is working overtime to ensure that the black tie dinner is a success. While the dinner will be the social highlight of Calderon's visit, there will also be plenty of policy issues on the table when the two leaders meet. Among them, border security and the violent drug wars that have affected both countries. A senior administration official also says it's likely the presidents will discuss the controversial Arizona immigration law, a law which both leaders oppose. Julie Pace, The Associated Press, The White House.